Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Actually, this week you're the one who should be sitting here because you helped me come up with the ideas for the video. So as you know, if you participated, hopefully you did, I had up three polls for what sort of legs, what sort of arms and what sort of function we want for uh, a robot. And you guys chose, you chose four or more legs, you chose wings, which I hope you would didn't chose because that was my girlfriend's suggestion and I didn't think it worked, but you guys are always to be trusted to choose something weird. And then for the fourth one, I put in their milk delivery because I thought that's just silly, I wouldn't go. And of course you guys chose milk delivery. So let's get into this drawing and let's see what I came up with. Okay, so this video is not about having a, a beautiful finally rendered product. I want to show you mostly the, the process and how I think when I, when, I, when I think about coming up with new ideas. And as always, I start with smaller thumbnails. These might seem a bit more detailed, but this is just how I work with thumbnails, so don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, because I like lines, I don't do the shapes, I do mostly the, the lines, even, even for thumbnails. This, this is just how I work. Anyways, so the main thing is I just wanted to throw out a whole bunch of things that have more than uh, four legs, sometimes three legs even, because I just wanted to get a lot of ideas out of my head that might not be so good. Especially in the beginning, you saw me a couple of doing a couple of insects there. It's just because when I saw you wanted more than four legs and wings, well, the easiest solution would be insects. So I was just looking at, at what can I do that's not necessarily insect-like. And here you can see me as I was also trying to think more along of bird wings. So what sort of robot would be good with bird wings? And then I was like, okay, so how can I make this a little bit more mechanical looking? and then Horizon Zero Dawn came to mind because there are the glint hawks and the stormbirds, right? And both of them are really, really nicely designed. Very animalistic and I will probably have to step away from that a bit more, especially because here I forgot about the part where this robot has to be a milk delivery robot. <laughs> so I was just going on the coolness effect, like, oh, okay, this is, this is really cool. Let's just, let's just follow this and, and try what else I can do. And I think Ian McHugh has these sort of legs where like uh, a robot has four legs, but they're a little bit like animal-like and they almost look muscular and they're a little bit thick and fat. And I, I've been looking at quite a bit of Ian McHugh lately. So that, that sort of always just sticks in my head like, oh, that's, that's cool. And then another wing sort of design idea that was in my head was, I don't know if it was a series or the movie, but the old Dune uh, series or movie where you had the, the, I don't know what they're called, the aircraft that uh, were flying around on Arrakis and they had sort of like half, half wings, half also a little bit of propellers in them and I wanted to try them and then here I started remembering that, oh wait, this has to be a milk delivery robot, so that's why I, I gave an interesting sort of shape to that one. But after that, <laughs> because I was looking at the reference, I saw some bird wings and they were really, really cool bird wings. And I was like, I just need to draw these. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, even, even when I'm in the process of, of designing something, I, I just see something, ah, I wanna draw that. So I wanted to transform those really cool bird wings uh, that I saw in the reference into sort of a robot. And yeah, I was, I didn't really care about the milk delivering part that much here. I was just, I was, I was thinking of doing something. Oh, cool. I like this. And uh, yeah, that's why this little, I don't know, I'd like to call it pit bull with wings sort of robot thing <laughs> came into existence. And yeah, I also <laughs> wrote that it's, it's cool, but it's stupid. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything, <laughs> especially in this case. And yeah, the, and the next step for me was thinking, okay, so I wanted to push insects away, but what if I actually go into insects? I look at them a little bit more carefully and, and, and try to see what, what, what actually I can do with insects, because insects can do vertical landing, vertical takeoff and landing, which all those big, big winged things would be a little bit weirder, especially when they're flapping, flapping. And if you want something like a de delivery robot, you would rather have something that can come in, land like a, a, a helicopter and then fly off again. So I thought, okay, maybe actually the, the insect wings would work uh, much better for that. Uh, and once I was thinking, that, I was like, okay, let me also think a little bit about the body for the robot, because it, it should be almost like a, 
I don't want to say can dispenser, but, but one of those boxes where we can buy all sorts of drinks and snacks out of. So I think, okay, what if I take that and put that on legs and add wing, wing, uh, wings to it? It's very, I don't know, I would say non-designery, but it's very rough industrial design, right? Like take the function, don't worry about the, the aesthetics, just take the function, put it together so it works for what you need it. And from there, I can work on the visual part as well. So I can reshape it a little bit. I can make it sexier if needed. I can take away from the boxiness. And that's basically the process that you're seeing here right now. I'm, I'm still trying to see, okay, how can I make this box look a little bit better? And <laughs> I also like to draw in some of these, as in the beginning, you saw the, the, the milk box there. I also want to draw a little bit of milk carton and milk boxes here and there, just, just so I know what I'm doing. For me, this process, well, or at least this part of the design process is really about exploration. This is where I, I use my tool of sketching, my knowledge of sketching and everything I learn for perspective. And I just try to turn the shape around, try to explore different ways I can represent the same object. And uh, so this is, this is what I see from, from people when they just draw something quickly from, from one angle and like, ah, oh, okay, I'm done with it. Yeah, that's, that's an illustration, that's nice. So even, even if, if you draw something and then you spend, I don't know, 10 hours rendering it out beautifully, that's, that's a nice illustration. But designing something is not about illustration. Designing something is really about thinking all the parts and, and, and re-sketching, not necessarily sketching, you can also make quick sculpts or you can make quick mock-ups with even paper, doesn't matter. The, the, that's why it's called design because you're trying to figure out how this thing works, how this thing looks from all the angles. You're not just making an illustration from one angle. So nothing against illustration. Just <laughs> let me let me uh, preface that. And at this point, you can see that I start drawing somewhat the same thing over and over again. And I think this is also where I fell a little bit love in love with this design because I took this and I decided, okay, let me just let me just run with this because especially if, when when I drew it in 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 the side angle, I I really. Uh, thought like, okay, I actually enjoy this. I want to explore this a little bit more. And that's that's also, yeah, part of what I've been saying before is that I did so many sketches, so many random things, and now I found something that I like, and I'm technically gonna do the same process again because I'm going to start drawing it from all sorts of different angles again. I, I don't just choose one angle, oh, hey, yeah, I, I like it and, and stick with that. And here you will also see within in a second that I sort of explore this, draw this a little bit more, and I will realize that I do find at least the body, the center body, a little bit boring. Uh, I started exploring it before, but for me it was too boxy. So I wanted to make it a little bit of a nicer shape. So I gave it this nice roundings uh, on the edges. And yeah, it's nicer, but it's, it's a bit boring. And that's exactly what, what I'm writing there. So I will need to explore it a little bit more. How can I make this shape a bit more interesting? Uh, and that's, that's what's going to come up next. But for, for just, just for my head to see how this works, I also wanted to draw it in sort of a flying phase because no, it's not always on the ground. So I thought in a flying mode, it, it would have the, the legs hanging like you would see on, on, on a mosquito, right? It's, it's just, it's there, they're hanging there, they're not in a way. It's not the super fastest robot. It doesn't need to be aerodynamic for, it's, it's sort of like a chopper-like robot. It's, it's relatively, uh, fast and, and, and can go on. And I think something that, that I didn't mention with this one uh, in the previous drawing, I started out with just the, the two wings on top and soon it felt to me that, okay, this would be probably unbalanced. It wouldn't be the most balanced robot. So that's why I added the, that little back wing thing. I didn't want to go totally into the insect uh, design where you would have that big body part that insects have. I don't know what's it called. <laughs> don't ask me for that. But I thought if I just give it a little bit of extra thing that that uh, has its extra wings, just to stabilize it, that, that should be cool. And then here I, I I went with that idea, tried a different sort of uh, wing setup. What sort of what sort of insects have what sort of wings? Bigger, thinner, longer. Uh, I was having a little bit of fun with that. And I think this what you see right now. This this will end up being pretty much the the end result because I I really enjoyed this uh, perspective. 
But before I, so here, exactly. So here you can see me, I compiled all these drawings that I liked and I decided, okay, so I, I really like this idea, but obviously it's not there yet. So I, I from here, as I said, the same process of uh, sketching over and over again started because I wanted to see, okay, where can I push this? What, what can I do with the body? I sort of have the legs are fine. That's enough detail for now there. I can always detail those later. Then we have the upper wings, which I need to have sort of, sort of a degree of angle where it can twist back and forth. And then you need another actuator, which will actually make the wings flap super fast, like, um, like wings. And that's wings, well, insect wings. And that's actually with this design, that's my main concern because I don't know if, um, well, technically, we are actually capable of main, making actuators that do the wings of insects like that. And I think if I'm correct, actually insect wings, they don't just go up and down because they, they sort of prescribe uh, that infinity loop thing in the air. And that I just remind, remember that now that, that the, I see the drawing and I'm like, oh, great. So I, technically I would have to rethink that, that uh, part there. So let's, let's see if, if I will feel like it or not in the future. And yeah, you will see me here struggle a little while with, uh, with that um, body shape. But uh, I will come back and uh, talk more in a second until then listen to some nice music while you watch me sketching. So as you can see, the solution, at least my solution to making the chest area a little bit more interesting is to make it useful. So, so bring in some uh, functionality to it. And my idea was to basically have milk canisters that can be slot in there or slid in there, and then you can easily change them. So the robot would land, take out old milk canisters, put in two new ones, and then it flies off. And it's nice to show off. Uh, it's it's a nice little detail and I thought okay that's 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 actually really cool and I, I stayed with that design because instead of coming up with all sorts of greebles and, and design thing if futuristic sci-fi design thing is this actually has a nice functionality to it. And then I think this would be will be the last thing that I explore uh, visually for at least from a different angle is I didn't really explore the back area of uh, of my flying robot which has the extra wings which i think they're there they're, they're there to well i think it's my design but my idea was that because the the two top wings probably wouldn't give it enough stability and airplanes also have those smaller b back wings so i thought it would be good or cool as well to have uh, these little uh, back wings which can either counter and they also have uh, a little bit of um a tilt to them uh, where, where it's where it's connected to the body uh, you can see i, I already uh, gave some ideas like how, how that might look like and, and it can the, the whole area can tilt up and down making uh, the wings flap in slightly different angles so yeah that's the, this is what i said that I'm, I'm mostly trying even even if nobody will see this um sketch at least i know how it works you know so i, I know for myself that okay at least that i thought about parts of the design and obviously if you would have to give this to somebody who does 3d these are quite important information because all i did is, is was drawing it from a side and a three quarter front three quarter view and that's just not enough information for somebody they would if 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 without this drawing, this goes to a 3D artist, they would have to make up the, the back part themselves. So they would have to come up with, okay, what, what might this look like? And at least this way I can give them uh, some uh, extra information. Uh, 
next up would be a head for the robot. This actually I find not fantastically useful because Technically, robots don't really need heads with eyes and all that stuff. It's, it's really not needed. But since already this robot has a weird shape and it does something quite banal like delivering milk, I thought, okay, maybe if people are interacting with it and maybe if even children just go up and, and get some milk from it, you would want to make the robot look a little bit more harmless. So I, I looked up some, okay, what's, what's a kawaii? Ka kawaii? Thing, how, how can I make it look a little bit more cute? And I ended up with uh, the small eyes very far apart from each other and maybe a, a small little smile on a sort of cutesy head. And uh, I, I, I think I just glimpsed some uh, teddy bears and I thought, oh, okay, I could also add some lights on top of the head because that's just my sickness. <laughs> I love to add uh, lights to, to, my, to my robots, but they would look cute, like almost like a teddy bear ears or something like that. And here you can see the, the final sort of assembled image of, of our little uh, robot. This is something that I, I like to deliver to, to somebody if they ask for a design from me, because I feel like this is the, the minimum information that gives them uh, all the necessary well, information again that they need. So we have our basic three quarter view, a bit of the top, a bit of the front and a bit of the side. In this case, I also did that uh, other three quarter view where you can see uh, the back and also a bit more of the, the top of the robot, but also those little uh, back wings that I've been talking about. And then I also made sure to uh, showcase the, the mechanism, how you take out the canister or where the canister goes also uh, zoomed in on that a little bit, how you push it in and flips up and down. So th this would be sort of like a, a, a design page that I, I give to somebody. And from here on, it's, it's still very early on, so you can ideate a lot uh, to see if, okay, if we wanna go into different direction, you can easily resketch things. You also didn't put in too much work, so you're much more comfortable with uh, killing your babies. And I, I talk about killing your babies quite often because yeah, it's important to be able to not fall in love with your drawings because here you can just erase everything, restart, or just erase parts of it. Especially if you're working together with somebody, they can also jump in and change it. And you didn't put in a countless hours in rendering something out nicely without having feedback uh, from others. And this is also something that if you are in, in drawing groups or art groups, something like this you can put in like, hey guys, give me some feedback on the design and then people can ask you about functionality and, and all sorts of things that might pop up. And then you don't have uh, a drawing where you put in many hours and you think, oh, this is nicely drawn. And then people point out things and you're like, oh yeah, you're right, I see that and I cannot unsee that now but I just don't have the energy to fix this after I put in 10 hours of rendering time, you know? And that happens quite often that you just don't feel like, oh, come on, I'll do it with the next one. And the, the next time you're doing a next drawing, you also forget it. And then it just keeps on being pushed. So these sort of uh, early ideation slash concept drawings are, I find them at least quite valuable. And this is what I like to see also when when people think about uh, uh, showing off ideas on or, or designs of their own. For me, this is something much more valuable than seeing something that is rendered out, at least <laughs> at least in the, in the, in the early process. But yeah, this is, this is it for this video. I, I do hope uh, you enjoyed it. I hope you like this sort of approach to drawing, not always just the, the, the finished anything. And in, in general, I, I do like to just do, do snippets also of, of, of how I work, not, not the whole, whole thing. Uh, but yeah, if you liked, hit that like button, you know, you know the thing. More importantly, leave me comments. I love to read your comments. I love to interact with you. It was really fun having you guys choose uh, these prompts. I hope we can do more stuff like this. Uh, and yeah, if you like this sort of content, uh, subs subscribe because there's going to be more of this, of course. Uh, you can also check out my Instagram uh, if you want to see more drawing related uploads. Uh, you can support me, check out my Gumroad, the links in the description down below. I, I try to upload more videos there as well. But as always, the most important thing is that you guys have a great time and see you in the next video. <laughs> bye bye.